Ready now for the matchup at 138 pounds. Here from Waterloo, Iowa for the United States in the blue uniform. Troy Steiner, third year on the team from Madison, Wisconsin, wrestled at Iowa. He's 28 years old, taking on Andre Yakovlev. Most recent result, fourth at the World Cup in Stillwater. Three minutes and 47 seconds to go. And there is no score. Steiner had a passive call against Yakovlev, put him down, nearly turned him there, and is working on him some more. Tom, you've got great experience with Steiner. To talk about this a is where Steiner's real tough. You see, he put the leg in, and now he trapped the arm, and that's his best turn. Got it. That's it. Tom Brands with the move. Two pointer because it went over the shoulder. He'll get another two pointer there. Try to hold him now. And now that's what he's counting off. Referee Betor Sibikov, another point. Three to nothing for Troy Steiner. He did not get the points for turning him back over. There is Barry Davis, head coach of Wisconsin. Troy Steiner is a strength coach for that man and his University of Wisconsin Badger wrestling team. Right away, right away. Likes what stop, stop. he sees here. Barry Davis, a silver medalist at the 88 time. Olympics. Three to nothing with two minutes and 50 seconds to go. United States on top. They have lost the opening two matches to Russia. Steiner can get things back on track here with a victory. Jeff, you thought maybe a couple of more points might come because he rolled him twice. Well, it's the same move. You're only allowed one gut wrench, and, and, and Troy never broke the lock, so it was the same move. So even though he brought him over again, it doesn't score there, but he did get the five pounds to get the extra point, three nothing. And now it'll be Steiner who is warned for passivity right. and talk about fair play now Kovlev has an opportunity to turn Steiner Troy Steiner wrestled at Iowa from 90 to 93 he was the 92 champ and you know him very well don't you Tom yes I do uh, you'd like to see him do a little more offense I guess uh, keep the referee off his back it looked like uh, Yakovlev is a little bit weak on the mat we and Steiner's tough there so he needs to utilize where he's good and that's where a lot of American wrestlers fall a little bit short is learning parterre. They feel, hey, I can go even with the world champ, but then when they land on the mat, they get turned once, and that puts the match out of reach. I would also say that I don't think that was the right call on calling passivity against Steiner. It looked like he was still kind of controlling the match, especially when he's ahead 3-0. There's that's his brother, Terry Steiner, up next at 152 pounds, twin brothers wrestling here in Waterloo. But that was low. A nice single there and a good counter. Rubber legged out of that. Have to be very limber to be able to get out of something like that. And he tries it again, but Yakovlev able to hang on to the shoe and gets the one point takedown. Three to two now. United States is Troy Steiner leading Andrei Yakovlev of Russia. And the best time to score is when you first hit the mat. Don't take your time to set up your turn. Go right into it on the way down. Your opponent is generally thinking about, how did I just get taken down? And Tom, you've got to answer this. It looked as though he hit that single twice in a row to Troy's leg, and Troy didn't have an answer for it either time. Well, the Steiners, like you said, you mentioned the rubber knee, and they tend to rely on that a little bit. Here he is in again. We'll see what he can do with it. Nothing yet. I misspoke the score. It's actually three to one for Troy Steiner over Yakovlev, and that gives him a little more breathing room as we are now down to 45 seconds left in this match at 138 pounds. Steiner wants to keep the weight going forward, and he's able to do a good job now, able to counter out of that. And with the time winding down, that three points is huge. This match will end in regulations. Yakovlev needs a two-point move, 30 seconds left. And now it is Troy Steiner who goes down and has the inside leg on Yakovlev. There you see the clock ticking down. Steiner Yakovlev will just hold on. Steiner wants to hang on, kill time, not give up position. Not in a real good position here yet. Under 10 seconds now for the first victory for the United States in this USA-Russian dual meet. And he's going to be able to hang on. Troy's going to do it here. Good match by Steiner. There it is. Troy Steiner scored early and then hung on. And he comes out victorious over Andre Yakovlev at 138 pounds. United States with three points. They now trail by a score of seven to five after three matches and a very appreciative crowd here at Waterloo. Salutes their former University of Iowa wrestler, Troy Steiner.